Welcome into the In the Money podcast for KeelanSelect.com. Tom Leach along with Jim Goodman, Keeneland's Director of Mutuals and Simulcasting as we take a look at the Wednesday, October 26th card, just four days left in the fall meet. And the feature is the eighth race, an allowance event on the turf, a late pick forward. Jim, we've got uh, uh, a horse in here, private client, probably figures to go favored uh, in here, I would think. You got a Mark Cassie horse in Moonlight Sky. Who'd you like in the eighth? Yeah, I've got the note here that uh, private client is going to be the favorite, but I've also got a note called Money Burner. And private client, and uh, the comments in Daily Racing Forum made it very clear that uh, has raced five times and has gone to the post at favored uh, four times. The only time he wasn't, the uh, only time she wasn't favored, she won by six and a half. So uh, she might be a good bet to get the money. She's she's very consistent, got nice numbers. Um, Tom Proctor is a uh, great trainer, and there's a nice bullet work there. Uh, Le Peru takes them. There's a lot of reasons to better, but there's a lot of reasons not to go crazy on her in this race either, because I think she's she's going to be right there. But she's shown that she can burn a lot of money. I went with her on top along with the six cause Iolia. Uh, Chris Block is is a, is a nice trainer. He's 0 for nine at Keeneland. Now, that's kind of unusual, but I, cause Iolia comes out of a key race. Uh, she's stretching out to a mile and an eighth. She gets to Giroux. Um, I think that, and she's six to one on morning line with a bullet work at Hawthorne. Shipped down here after, after she ran on the turf at Arlington three times. So I, I'm going to take her as a value play in here. I'm going to play her with a ten on top, and I'm going to throw the two horse Moonlight Sky in for Mark Cassie and Alvarado. Uh, ran well at Kentucky Downs at nine to one last out, and only got beat uh, three and three quarters for a hundred forty three thousand dollar allowance race so she stretches out as well to a mile and an eighth and she's proven in a mile and an eighth on an allowance race back in in may at churchill so uh, my play here is uh six ten with two six ten with all in the trifecta seems like we've had a lot of long shots at this meet come in in the third spot in the fourth spots so try to hit uh try to spread in the third spot try to take the favorite on top with a value play with cause i owe you I'm going to take the the likely favorite private client in here. I like the fact that she's turning back from some longer distances, and uh, I know this has been a, a really uh, well regarded uh, filly for a while. And I keep thinking at some point she's going to maybe tap into that potential and really take off. Um, thought she ran pretty well here at Keeneland in the spring, so uh, that's a good sign too. The others that I liked were Moonlight Sky, the two you mentioned. Uh, she's so fine, and Majestic Island five and seven. Uh, I like those two a little bit as well, and I'll key everything around private client in the eighth race. Now, the pick f- uh, pick four starts in the fifth race on Wednesday with just the eighth race eight race card. And uh, the fifth race is a really challenging event. Untapped is, I think, going to be the, the favorite. Not wild about the 11 hole uh, going the two turns. I ended up coming, going back and forth, I ended up coming back to Clever Serve. Uh, this horse showed big improvement last time. Um, it was like... 90 to one, I think, and got up for second, but uh, really finished strong and had a horrible post. Was breaking from the 12 hole going two turns that day. Uh, I, I'm going to bet that that was a legit improvement and that uh, this one can come back to that or even better with a better post. So I'm going to take clever serve, but I uh, got to use untapped. Uh, Bemis Point was uh, the, the my initial pick, and then I changed to the six. So I like the seven as well. Um, the 12, the 11, my Akati Cat and never hung over. Uh, I thought were intriguing. The the four tap me uh, face, I think it is. Um, I liked as well a little bit. But clever serve is going to be my win pick in there, and I'm going to use five horses in the pick four, the six, seven, 11, 12, and nine. I'm uh, going to leave out the four just for budgetary reasons. And the sixth, going to go too deep with chastise, my win pick, and party boat. In the seventh, I'm going to use uh, Bears Big Boy as the win pick. Uh, first time claim for David Vance, but uh, also going to use five Top Gatto, two McHugh, and one Dynamic Impact. And that leaves me uh, with the budget to go too deep in the last leg, Private Client and Moonlight Sky. I'd like to go deeper, but um, I'll go too deep there. So five by two by four by two for me. How about you? Yeah, I was wondering when you were going to run out of money. <laughs> <laughs> Always All happy. right, I took a different tact here. Um, I like Untapped in the first race. And the eleven hole is the is to me the only negative. I think um, I, I think she's caught a really average field here. A lot of these fillies have tried and 
you know, not not broken through, and the ones that have that have run, I think clever serve is you make a good point. Uh, first time at a mile of sixteenth, and and she gets up for second at at ninety to one. A uh, big buyer jumped though from forty nine to sixty five. She either goes forward or she kind of bounces off that. So, unta- untapped had a seventy three buyer first out at Churchill, uh, Asmussen, uh, you know, out of tap it. All the, all the uh, reasons to bet her. And I'm going to take a stand there in single because I'm going to I'm going to go deep later on. So, eleven with second race. I'm going to use price too high. The two, Royal Asher. The five chastised the six and the eight Senora Cerro. So two five six eight. Next race, I, I invoked my rule that if I can't eliminate half of them, I'm going to go all. So I could eliminate two of them, so I'm going to go all there. Uh, don't really have a, a top pick in that race. I uh, smoking romance maybe the seven and bears big boy the three that you mentioned, but I didn't feel good about any of them. So I'm going to go all there. And last leg, um, go as deep as you can. It's going to cost you, uh, fifth, let's see, one, two, three, four, five. I've got five deep, so um, um, I've got $90, I think, as the four times nine times five. So I'll use two, five, six, seven, ten, Moonlight Sky, uh, She's So Fine, Cause I Owe You, uh, Private Client, and uh, Wild Covey, I think. Oh, I'm sorry, two, five, six, seven, ten. So Majestic Island was the other one that you mentioned. So... Go deep in the end, take a swing at the 11 to kick it off. Best of luck with your wagers on the Wednesday card. If you can't get out to Keeneland, remember you can always play through KeenelandSelect.com and a lot of handicapping resources available, our podcast and uh, a lot of uh, other resources available that you can tap into and also at Keeneland.com. So take advantage of those opportunities, and we wish you luck on the Wednesday card. We'll be back to have another podcast for Thursday's card. It's the In the Money Podcast from KeelanSelect.com.